Michael Vrontometis, welcome to Trade Finance Talks TV. Thanks, Sebesh. Thanks for having me on the show. So here we are in Cybos, Amsterdam. Can you give a quick elevator pitch? Who are you, where are you from, and what do you do? Thanks, Sebesh. So uh, Michael Vrontometis. I'm the lead industry principal for, um, for Finastra's lending business unit. And at Finastra, we provide technology to banks. We have over 8,500 clients, essentially covering the wide range of uh, solutions that banks require to, to be operational. So let's start with talking about the, the corporate client experience. And I don't think we've covered that, that enough at, at Cybos. But what is the overarching perception of, of client experience when it comes to trade? Are they happy? Do they expect more? Well, I think demands have gone up. So when you look back, uh, trade has been pr predominantly a manual business. You know, less than 2% of, uh, of transactions are, are, are electronic in the, in the trade finance space. Um, but uh, with the pandemic, the, uh, the move to digital signature, the move to electronic was absolutely critical. And uh, as a result, banks are incre increasingly looking at how do they serve their customer, um, customers more by providing a digital experience. Uh, as those expectations have increased. And I guess since the pandemic, have you seen customers really, really look at increasing and having a better experience? Have you seen that demand gone up? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, um, you know, it all starts with the, um, with the basics because you can't just layer on a, a good digital experience on uh, poor architecture. So a lot of banks we're seeing uh, investing in the core architecture, the core systems, to ensure that those work correctly so that they can then build the digital experiences off the top of it. And how can digitalization in the space help actually enhance this client experience? And perhaps you can talk about the, the Kotak Bank example. Yeah, so Kotak is a, is a fantastic example. A very large Indian bank, thousands of branches, um, you know, 80,000 employees. And they had a mishmash of systems uh, in, in, in the back office. They've worked on their architecture. Um, they developed a unified digital experience together in partnership with, with, with Finastra. So that covers everything from foreign exchange, cash management, um, trade finance, account services, and so on. And, and really, the ability to connect to multiple systems and bring that solution to a client that makes it very easy for them to access information, see the, the data that they need at the touch of a button, and also get some predictive analytics around the future. And can you talk about some of the practical real realities of that? I, you know, I imagine Kotak had, had, had hundreds of, of back office systems and actually consolidating those into just a few was probably quite a big part of that, that digital transformation journey, right? Well, I think partly it's about, um, not hundreds, not hundreds, but uh, tens of. And, and it was not about consolidating a lot of them, it was about getting them ready to be able to be digitized. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it was about connecting to multiple systems. So it's not just about one, one platform, but multiple platforms for multiple vendors. And so really what we're providing is the ability to, to integrate all those systems and provide a seamless digital experience to, to their client base. And they're growing rapidly, so it's all about scaling. And I, and I guess, you know, Finastra being one of many vendors, how does Finastra see itself playing in, in, in partnership with other fintech vendors? That's a really good question and, and I think what we've seen over the last number of years is all about partnerships and developing an ecosystem that we can work together on. And Finastra is a big believer in that. We believe that, that finance is open and by being open we need to connect people to the, to, to the overall ecosystem. So we work with partners on multiple levels. Um, we work with partners to implement solutions that, um, that, that customers buy from, from Finastra. We work with partners to add capability sets onto our existing solution. No one technology vendor can provide every solution to every client. And so it's really critical to be able to provide that sort of uh, connectivity and seamless integration with a number of partners. And we did that, uh, demonstrated that this week with, uh, with the launch of the, um, the connectivity with, with Contour, for example, that provides that, that fantastic solution that they have to, that connects corporates together and the banks together to their, to their back office, so it's seamlessly processed from the bank's perspective. Yeah, in interesting, and I think having been at Cybos, standardization seems to be the, the, the kind of key to, to making a lot, of, a lot of these things happen. You know, where are we at in terms of as an industry to standardize various facets of, of trade and what needs to happen to kind of get us to a place where we can have fully standardized data which then allows us to interoperate between other, other platforms? Okay, that's a really big question, Tipesh. That's a really big question. Um, I think you know, you've, you've been around for a while and when we've been working on this in the industry for, for a long period of time and 
you know, we started out with uh, UTN probably back in 2016, 2017. Um, and we developed that into the, the, the Digital Standards Initiative, which was launched um, during the pandemic, um, but had been worked on tre tremendously before that. And we saw some great progress in terms of bringing, uh, and, and, and bringing people together to work on standards together, not trying to reinvent the wheel, but you know, make those standards available because it's about awareness and also understanding, identifying the white spaces where standards are required and then working together to kind of deliver them. And we've, we've seen some really great progress by, by the team over there and Pamela Maher has just taken over as an MD there, and I think we're very excited about that. Um, what, um, what that means, though, is that some standards take a while to, to deliver, and we haven't seen the traction in the, uh, in, in the, in the bank-to-corporate space and the API space. There are a number of initiatives that, that are in there, um, but we expect it to take a little bit of a while. Um, in the interim, we expect that we're going to have to help our clients connect to platforms in absence of those standards because, you know, we have to enable them to grow their revenues. Yeah, no, in interesting. And I guess taking a six to 12 month view, what are the big changes and, and items you see coming up both for Finastra and also, I guess, the global trade industry? So I, I think in, in, in global trade, it's, it's a difficult time with the supply chain disruptions that, that we're seeing. And obviously, uh, banks are having to deal with a number of challenges around uh, sanctions and uh, AML that, um, concerns that have, that have increased. Um, but, I, but I think it's, it's um, still a, a thriving um, community. Um, and I expect that we'll, we'll see continued growth in the trade finance uh, business over the next, um, in the next six to 12 months. Um, what we're focused on is how do we bring those partnerships to market um, and allow our customers to more seamlessly connect to the different options that are out there um, so that they can deliver, deliver a better experience for their customers. Thank you. And so, so I guess just to summarize, you know, cautious optimism, but, but that, that, that's a good thing. And, and I guess that will be driven by, by partnership, which is you know, really driven by a changing corporate client experience, right? Absolutely. So the corporate client experience is going to improve over time. Uh, a lot of banks are investing in that, in that experience and, and really going back to basics to ensure that it's, it's working well um, before building and adding um, um, services on, on the top. Great. Michael, thank you very much for joining us on Trade Finance Talks TV. Depeche, lovely to be here. Thank you so much.